Hey everybody, I just wanted to pop on, give you a couple of tips again for staying in control of what you can control. So one of my favorite podcasts is The Unstoppable CEO with Steve Gordon. He's got a great interviewing style, he always has great guests. And one I've listened to recently was Robert Michon, M-I-C-H-O-N, who has had all different types of business, spends a lot of time now coaching teams, coaching uh, sales teams, etc. But he's also worked with people under financial duress. And I'm finding that during this period with COVID-19 going on, that people are really frightened. They're worried about where their business is gonna go. Even if they still have a business that are billable, they're still worried. A lot of the lawyers we know and the um, accountants are now working from home. And so they are doing the on admin. So the assistants who used to come and take something off their desk and go copy it, scan it, uh, put it into the file, put it up on the cloud, uh, they're not physically there. So they're having an issue with that. They're spending more of their time on admin, not billable hours. They're also talking to clients a lot more. So that's another thing. So anyway, Robert Nishan's uh, uh, suggestions this morning were really terrific in that focus on what you can control. We can't control how long this pandemic goes on. We can't control who else gets sick. We can't control, uh, you know, the bank and the lending policies and whether or not we actually get a loan. Uh, it's forgivable. We can control dotting all the I's and crossing the T's. So some of the suggestions he um, started with were just really simple things, like you wake up in the morning, however you wake up, and you control whether or not you get out of bed. You control whether you go for exercise. You control what you eat for breakfast. You control how you're gonna spend your day. You control how you outline your day. So my suggestion is, and his was as well, is to get exercise. He recommended splitting the exercise up into a couple different uh, times, and I do find that under stressful conditions, we all get um, burnt out. You can just work and work and work and work and work and try and get things done, and if other people are not cooperating, you're not getting the end result you want, it can be extremely stressful, and often the stress builds up and you don't really know how much it's built up until you have a meltdown. I had a meltdown this morning, so I can function well in a lot of stressful situations. I do run with my dogs. I normally go to hot yoga, to Bikram yoga, but with all the yoga studies shut down, um, I've been missing my yoga, so I went back to running. Running something that's easy for me. I have big dogs, so I'm able to just grab my dogs and take them and run out and go for either 20 minute, 30 minute walk. I have an older dog that I take for a walk walk. So I get 40 minutes of exercise. My dogs each, uh, all of them get exercise, the big ones anyway. I have old ones too, uh, that carry up and down the stairs and outside. Um, and so that helps me reset my mindset. Another thing that I find also recharges me is listening to podcasts. When I listen to ideas from other people, I listen to other people going through struggles, I find techniques that work. And I've said some of this before, but another thing that works for me is time blocking my day. I'm a high energy person in general, but I have a higher energy level and more creative in the morning. So that's my time to tackle the more difficult issues. Very easy to come and be overwhelmed with a whole list of issues that you have to do and some things only you can do. So focus on what you can do and really get yourself dialed up Remember to eat well, drink lots of fluids, um, really start your day with meditation, start with writing in a journal for a few minutes, count the blessings that you do have, whatever talent God has given you, just say thank you and be grateful for that. And it goes a long way towards putting good karma out there and attracting abundance. Having a mindset that's positive is also fabulous. And this is one way to get you through the day. So. Uh, Kathy Boyle, Chapin Hill Advisors, feel free to reach out to me if I can help. Um, we do succession planning, business planning, estate planning, but I happen to have a marketing brain, happy to brainstorm with anyone, and I also have a phenomenal circle. So I'm happy to reach out and connect you with the people that you need to meet. Have a great day.